Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on old PC with unsupported uh, hardware. Windows 11 have, uh, has very strict requirement about the hardware, and uh, if you're trying to install on a computer that's uh, maybe six or seven years old, uh, it might not work. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass the requirement to install Windows uh, in, on old PC. Okay, I'm on a, a Linux computer, and I'm doing remote desktop. So here, uh, this is the Windows 11 computer uh, that I already set up and I'm going to show you here just to verify that uh, I have a very old PC so if you already install a Windows PC health check uh, you can double click and open so if I click this one uh, check now you will be able to see okay this is requirement uh, the processor isn't uh, is not currently supported for Windows uh, and it's a very old PC so I this is the computer I purchased in I think 2015 uh, it's all already seven years old so it's not supported but as you can see uh, this is windows 11 uh, it's already installed uh, you, if you want you can go to uh, uh, settings so s-e-t-t -T, and then open here and show you this is actually windows uh, 11 and by the way uh, it also works so for the windows update you can also update so uh, i already installed a bunch of uh, updates but it, i can also restart so i'm just going to uh, let you know that uh, you can install Windows uh, 11 on old PC. You can also update uh, the operating system, so it's not an issue uh, at all. So next, I'm going to show you step by step how you can install uh, Windows uh, 11 on your computer. And I'm going to open my um, desktop here. I already have a, a couple links that I'm going to use directly. So you can uh, the links are also in the descrip uh, description, uh, so you can use the link directly, or you can just go to uh, directly open. Uh, for example, uh, just uh, search Windows, Windows 11 download, okay, and then so from there, just click the link, download Windows 11, and download now. Uh, you oh, not this one. Uh, you click this select here. So I'm going to download the ISO. So click this one and then click uh, download. So from here, select whatever language that you want to download. I'm going to choose uh, English, and then confirm. And then just click this button here. Uh, it's going to download the file to your computer. So it's the same one here. Uh, you can also directly use the link that I provide. The same link. Hope Control C and then paste it. Enter. Okay, uh, the same one. So uh, this might take a couple uh, minutes to download. Uh, the file is five over five gigabytes, so it's going to take some time. And the next one uh, I'm going to download is the. Uh, this file here, so appraisal IES doc DLL. Uh, this is the file that we're going to overwrite. So you can uh, copy this link and uh, paste enter. Uh, it's a Google a file shared by Google Drive. So you can click here and then download, copy, uh, click and okay, download to your downloads directory. So over here, and once you download these two files, um, I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. but uh, essentially this file comes from the windows 10 iso uh, because windows 10 does not have as that a very strict requirement so we uh, when you are installing windows 11 so this file basically controls uh has all the specific requirements within this file so you will be, be replace this one with windows 10 so that makes it the requirement the same as windows 10 so windows 10 does not have a strict requirement so that you can do that but you're we are welcome to download windows 10 directly uh if you don't trust me if you don't want to download this one uh you can directly uh, uh just google windows 10 uh download and then from there you should be able to download the iso so but uh since i'm on windows 11 uh it doesn't show you the option for you to download the uh, uh iso but you can download the two and then just install the two and from there you should be able to download the iso I can also show you here um uh, this one is on windows uh no on linux so on linux you, you can actually download the iso directly so if you go to the link and then click this one select confirm uh, and you can continue for example select uh, the language and then confirm and after that you should be able to download the iso directly so here uh, as you can see if i click uh, it's going to show you here i'm going to download the file uh, to my computer but uh, as i said uh, this is on Win uh, on Linux. Uh, if you're on Windows, uh, you will see something like this. So uh, you need to install the tool. So uh, easy way is to just download the file. And so next, I'm gonna show you how we can do that. Uh, how how to install this one? Okay. So 
uh, first uh, go to the downloads directory uh, where you download the file and then just double click so on windows 10 it should automatically mount the drive and then open this one so uh, what you need to do just select all right click and then just copy so then go back to the windows direct uh the downloads directory or whatever directory you want to use and then create a new directory so here i'm just going to use a win 11 and then enter right click and then paste so uh, uh essentially we are uh, copy all the files installation files from the windows uh, iso and what we need to do is to overwrite the file so i'm going to open a new uh, window here okay it's finished uh, uh, the copying so if you also download uh, the windows 10 you'll be able to go to sources and then from there uh, you should be able to find this one so yeah if you want to use the windows 10 so copy this one and then overwrite so and this one is what we just did right so you're going to copy this one and then paste in here so make sure that you overwrite right right click and then replace the file in the destination once you overwrite uh, you notice that the date here are different so make sure that you overwrite this one once you have this then uh the next step is very very important uh make sure that you disconnect your internet so if you use wi-fi or if you have if you have ethernet cable disconnect it if you use wi-fi uh, just click the airplane mode uh, because I'm doing remote desktop, so I cannot do this one. Otherwise, you disconnect it. But uh, if you're on a local computer, just uh, airplane mode, uh, uh, disconnect your Ethernet cable, and then uh, double click this one. Double click uh, setup dot uh, exe, and uh, uncheck this one next. So it's going to show to check the computer. Uh, most likely, this will fail. Uh, because not right now I'm showing you with the internet connected, so uh, it won't allow you to do that. But if you disconnect the internet and then double click the setup.exe, uh, you should be able to see something like this. Okay, so uh, later uh, it's going to show you that it doesn't support it, but once you disconnect the internet, uh, it's going to show you a different uh, dialog. So you'll be like something like this, and then you click accept. Uh, accept, and then the next step is going to check the update. So if you see this one, uh, make sure you reclaim the internet uh, i noticed that if you don't have internet connected uh, this window will somehow disappear later so uh, very important again i'm going to uh, uh, say that again uh, once you see this title once you you see this one that means you are good to go then you need to reclaim your internet okay don't disconnect your internet all the way um, otherwise it won't work so see this one reconnect the internet and then you're good to go so I also have uh, record a short videos uh, earlier. Let's show you right I click next and then you need to reconnect your internet and then it's going to check the updates. Uh, then you should be to, uh, good to go. So uh, very, very important. So this is the most uh, important step. OK, so as you can see, right, this is in real time, right? It doesn't allow me to install uh, because I have internet connected. But you disconnect and reconnect. Um, you should be good to go okay i want to say it one more time uh you see this one you're good to go reconnect your internet and then you can install and uh, just follow the instructions uh it takes uh, 10 20 minutes to finish the old installation and once you reboot uh you will see a windows um interface like this so it's uh, much better than windows 10 and uh, again you can install it you can update your operating system without any problem so low right corner here you will notice that uh, it's um ask me to update or re restart right once you restart then you have the most up up to date uh, operating system okay so uh, uh that's all for this video i hope you find it useful and uh if you have any questions you can uh, uh, leave your comments down below uh, and i'm happy to answer your questions okay thank you very much for watching take care bye bye